Good morning. It's day six in the fog. <laughs> we had a booming thunderstorm last night. Tent held up like a trooper. Flashes of lightning, actually kind of frightening, but uh, you know, I was in a pretty good spot, so I wasn't worried about being struck. But boy, that was something else. And now, on to day six. This might be a tick at first, but there are no ticks on that Tecosti. So I touched it and it jumped like a spider. Road report. This is the path into Bay Martin campsite. Doesn't look bad, but those ruts are actually ruts, which means you can't steer. So that's what happened to me. I couldn't steer. I leaned to one side, sort of half fell, and that's how I bent my frame. Ugh. That's how I bent my rack. I've got to stop saying the word frame every time. <laughs> The route I'm taking out of Bay Martin is a lot sketchier than the one I took going into Bay Martin. And of course, it's going to be mostly uphill, which means I'll probably be doing some bike pushing. Uh, that can't be helped. Uh, I'm taking this route, and I knew it would be like this uh, because it takes me down the main trail a good 10 kilometers more than uh, when I came off the trail to begin with. So I hope, I hope this works out. <laughs> Okay, about four kilometers up from Bay Martin, the road looking like this, first 500 meters were awful. But then I encountered a road, a real road. I can't tell you how happy I am. So that last bit of road was some of the nicest I've been here, been on here. This is where it turns off, no sign for Bay Martin. And look, I'm back on the main road. Stopped here for lunch. It's uh, no place special, just another spot along the road. But you know, I can't get over how alone I am here. The plane flew by 30, 35,000 feet, maybe a bit more. Those are probably the closest people to me. I'm using Map Carta for this bit. Google Maps is not reliable for this. I started at the campsite at Minier Mansion and then continued along past the turnoff to the Lac Genevieve or Berni down to closer to Lac Charlie, which you can't see from the road. Followed that road up and then along the coast, and this is where the Bay Martin campsite was. And now, Today, I took an unmarked road, so not even on this map, up this hill and across until I eventually met up with this road here. And this road takes me back to the route Transantecostien. And then I followed that down to Riviere uh, Oil, which is where I put my cash, and then continued straight on to my campsite. This is Riviera Hoyle, about halfway between Port Menier and Camping Wilcox, and where I would have camped had I continued straight instead of diverting to Bay Martin. That would have got me there in two days instead of the three it actually took. Riviera de Hoyle, which I forgot to take video of, but I have some nice photos and we'll see more later. I put a cache, I hit a cache just off the road. I think it'll be fine. It's three days worth of supplies and like half my weight. My bike is now a lot trimmer and slimmer. That should help on the road. I also got water, uh, two liters worth at the uh, at the river. So I'm uh, not sure how from much further I'll be going. While I was here, this nice couple stopped. Can you believe it? Uh, they're going down that road to f look at the crashed airplane. Uh, I'm planning to spend two days right in this area on the way back, so I might see that. Meanwhile, um, they report that the roads are great all the way to the end, so that's really good news. I ran into the same couple up the road a ways. That was not the road to the Riviera de Huil airplane. No, it was down the road a bit, I saw the turnoff. Skipped the airplane, and I skipped Kalamazoo Falls, which was a three kilometer each way detour, which I regret because I was trying to make up time. But here are photos from other people so you can see what I missed. Well, it's 5.30 and I have, I guess about 
40 kilometers to get to Camping Wilcox, which means I'm not gonna make it today. So I've pulled off the road into this little nook and it looks to me like it'll be just perfect. Today's food, spicy grilled chicken curry. Yesterday's, by the way, I'd give about an eight out of 10. It was pretty good.